Thank you. My name is Michael Cohn, and I'm the president of the National Whistleblower Center. I'm honored and delighted to be able to address you today. I co-founded the National Whistleblower Center back in 1988 as an NGO exclusively dedicated to whistleblower protection. In 2009, I was invited to attend the Seoul Korea Anti-Corruption Transparency Symposium and presented information detailing how whistleblowers represent the single most powerful anti-fraud and anti-corruption tool on the planet. All of the key recommendations I presented are incorporated into the Korean whistleblower protection system. They include confidentiality, guaranteed employment, and monetary rewards paid to whistleblowers. Today, fear of retaliation and loss of reputation and general unawareness of whistleblower protections are some of the biggest problems facing whistleblower reward programs. In an effort to raise awareness, the National Whistleblower Center petitioned the U.S. Congress to establish National Whistleblower Appreciation Day and we chose to have that day coincide with the first whistleblower law enacted by the U.S. Continental Congress back on July 30th, 1778. Well, Congress unanimously adopted our petition, and every July since 2014, can get congressional leaders of both parties the government officials responsible for carrying out our whistleblower protections, and the lawyers who represent whistleblowers gather in Washington, D.C. to celebrate National Whistleblower Appreciation Day in an effort to raise public awareness, and more importantly, to thank our whistleblowers. I'd like to share some of our favorite moments from past Whistleblower Day celebrations with you. If there is no accountability, then there has to be maximum oversight. And that oversight comes from the courage, the kind of people that are in this room. Agencies that turn a blind eye to fraud, waste, and abuse cannot be trusted to do the right thing in these cases. Thank you to Senator Grassley and the government officials here that make this happen. We have to have whistleblowers. There would be no recoveries if there were no whistleblowers. Some people argue that these awards are wrong. Some people say that you shouldn't be given these types of monies, and I disagree. Because I brought back billions and billions of dollars to every government around the world. The only problem we can't solve is a problem we don't know about. If I had to do it all over again, I would. What would be worth winning the revolution if the people didn't have the right to expose government misconduct? Today, I want to applaud those that have been there prior to Dodd-Frank, and Steve Cohen and, and his National Whistleblower Center should be apl applauded for all their hard work for the case of the whistleblower. I, I do. <laughs> On behalf of the National Whistleblower Center and whistleblowers around the globe, thank you for your hard work, continued dedication, and we look forward to working together and invite you to join us in July 2019 to celebrate National Whistleblower Appreciation Day. Thank you.